And, uh, you know, when spring starts, usually we see the wind. Well, spring doesn't officially start until tomorrow, but that also hasn't stopped plants from blooming all over southern Arizona. Exactly. From the beautiful sights of wildflowers to the pesky weeds sprouting up. <laughs> Nine on your sights, Cody Sheever is live to tell us what you should do to tackle those unwanted plants. Cody. Pat Val, it feels like the weeds sprouted up overnight and are growing quickly. Definitely something you want to tackle sooner rather than later. It can be a jungle out there. People's yards across southern Arizona are experiencing a weed explosion. Don Freed, vice president of landscaping company Horticulture Unlimited Inc., says the pesky plants are fueled by winter rain, a problem since weeds will only continue to thrive in the Tucson heat. So when you're manually removing weeds, you don't always get the root system or the full weeds, so you're not really taking care of the problem. For the past 40 years, Freed has been telling her customers to spray pre- and post-herbicides on the plants, but it's all about timing to prevent weeds from ruling your yard. If it's sprayed on a day that's like this, very calm, no wind, in the morning is the best time, 70 degree temperature or higher is the best, it will be very, very effective. In other areas in Tucson, some have another way to dispose of the undesirable plant. The Garden District of Midtown hired a company called Urban Grazers to bring in living lawnmowers. For the goats, weeds are not a nasty nuisance, they're a tasty treat. And for those of you without goats in your backyard, weeds can trigger allergies. One local allergist says this year's increase is due to high carbon dioxide in the air. Pollen allergy makes people have headaches and congestion and miss work. And sometimes it can go on to sinus infections or asthma. And that's the point where a specialist can really be helpful. Cody Sheever, Kagan 9, on your side.